Hey guys, McJeffries here, and welcome to episode 151 of You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Uh, and before we get into the match, I have some good news. If I go onto the screen here, see the little P? We've won promotion. I'm not sure how many games are left, but we're 13 points clear at the moment. So, we've pretty much sewn up promotion. We've finished in the top two. Crew have guaranteed their playoff spot, uh, which they may not need still if they finish second. Because what we want to do now is... Pip crew to first place. We've got to make it well, you know how it works. We've got to make the gap big enough so they can't catch us, basically. Um, so that's one celebration. The second celebration could be in this episode because we are playing Shrewsbury in the Johnston's Paint Trophy fine, fi, fine, final at Wembley. Um, and the reason I, I, I'm fairly confident about this one, I'm more confident about this final than I was in last season's final because this time round. We are the League 1 team, and we are playing against the League 2 team in Shrewsbury. So, let's do this. It looks like we're in wearing the ugly kit today, which I'm not a big fan of, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, Quintarka is injured, so in comes King in goal. Um, who else? Cartwright is injured, Beckhold is injured, and Klopmus is injured, and we can't have seven subs <coughs> so let's replace Cartwright first um, let's replace him with Hughes because he is a centre back at heart so let's do that uh, let's take McConnor out as well actually looking at that where is he there he is okay so centre midfield alongside Mantum let's put in Delamond on the left hand side of midfield let's put in um, well, we had Marshall out there actually, and he wasn't doing such a bad job, so let's keep him out there. And then on the bench, let's redo the bench. Uh, we will have Webster, we will have Grant, we need a centre midfielder and a striker. Well, I think Bobo is fit, yep, yeah, Bobo, so we'll put Bobo out there. And let's put Francois, because he's come back from injury. He's been out for six weeks with an injury. So uh, let's give him a shot. Okay, so the Johnston's Paint Trophy final team for Majeffries United is King, Via, Hughes, Howlett, Mundell, Jones, Mantum, Delamond, Thompson, Marshall, Morgan, and Wilson. And uh, by the by, Wilson has become our highest scorer in a single season. He scored 26 goals this season. Um, at least that's how many he had when he broke the record. Previous record was 25, held by Adam Campbell. So Wilson is our best striker at the moment. And let's see if he can shine in today's match as well. <clears throat> Looking forward to this. This could be fun. This could be a lot of fun. Still struggling to keep clean sheets. In our league matches, we were meant to come back for a crew at home, but I had to reschedule that one and the following match due to international call-ups, which is why we've got this match next. Um, but during the other matches between those, we were still conceding a lot of goals. We were scoring a lot, but we were conceding a lot. So it's, it's kind of good in that we are scoring lots of goals, but it is very frustrating that we still can't keep a clean sheet. So I'm hoping we are able to do that today. And that was nearly a good start. Wilson's ball into Morgan. Unfortunately, he headed straight at the keeper. Uh, that's cleared into the stand. It says clears off the line. I wasn't actually watching, in all honesty. So uh, let's just assume that, yes, it was cleared off the line. Right, we are coming up to 20 minutes in. Possession-wise, we're actually behind, but we've had... More shots and more shots on target, in that we've had two and one. Shrewsbury with the corner. King picks it up. I have altered set pieces as well, by the way. Um, I've brought more players back for when we're taking corners and free kicks. And um, I've put more players forward from when we're defending corners and free kicks. And that I've put both strikers forward rather than just one. 
hopefully that means that when we do have the chance to counter-attack, we won't have to hold the ball up as much, because there'll always be a second player up there supporting. <coughs> Excuse me. I choked on something then. Uh, need to win the ball back. I have also asked my team to stand off players a little bit more, which could be a bit of a mistake. It's given Ugru this space to get in. Fortunately for us this time, he's put it high into the stands. What stadium were you playing at? I think it's Shrewsbury's stadium. New Meadow, I think it's called. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, Ogwu with the uh, the foul, but saved our backsides there. Via deciding to hack the ball across the line rather than or along the line, rather than out of the box. I have no idea why. Uh, Hiss on the ball now, and he p knocks it back to King. Remember, King's got a big kick on him, and there it is. Pumps it forward to Wilson, into Marshall. Marshall sprinting away, over the keeper and over the bar. That was unlucky. That was unlucky. Good attack, good touch again from Marshall. Got good turn of pace. Showed his uh, defender a clean set of heels. I hate that expression. I don't know why I use that expression. He ran away from him, is what that means, basically. Delamond flicks it forward. Wilson with the flick on to Morgan. Bang! In the back of the net, but Wilson, I believe, was offside. Oh, and Morgan was offside. I thought Wilson might have been offside as Delamond put that one forward. Nope, turn out it was Morgan. <coughs> well, it's 0 0 at half time. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I thought we'd be winning by now. But we're not losing, and that's the main thing, because we screwed it up in the last last time we reached the final of this competition, so uh you know it is good that we aren't losing. Do need to find a goal from somewhere though. We have got Bobo on the bench and he has scored a couple of goals for us recently. And he makes goals happen as well. So uh we might look to bring him on. That was a miscue there from both Marshall and Delamond. I still think Delamond could have controlled that. Was a bit over hit from Marshall though. Um, if we can get an interception here, I don't know why Thompson decided to do that. He could have had a shot at goal then. Delamond's done well to win it back into Morgan, through for Wilson, round the corner to Thompson. Didn't take a shot, but Wilson will get in one nil. Peter Wilson continues his goal scoring run by grabbing another one. That was a bit of a smash and grab. It was his pass through for Thompson, though. Good tackle by the defenders, but unfortunately for them, very, very fortunate for us, it came through for Wilson, and he buried it in the back of the net. Did well there. Now Marshall with the, the layoff to Delamond. He's got two forward. Goes it himself for the time being. Tried to find Morgan. Very easy interception for Kitchen. Kitchen? I think I said Kitchen. Unusual name, but a nice one. Quirky. Right, Wolford on the ball. Via closes him down well, but then gives him it back. Matthews on the ball. To Stead. Jones trying to get it off him. Back for Matthews. There's a lot of space for Shrewsbury in the middle at the moment. Needs to try and close that door. Ball comes in. Ogru's header. Ah, he scored. It's Ogwu, sorry, not Ogwu. It's a couple of times I've made that mistake. Regardless of how you pronounce his name, he has just scored against us. Same old trick. Needed to cut out the cross. We had three men behind the uh, the striker and none in front, so he had an easy head on target. And just didn't do enough there to try and close that one down. Not very good. Not very good at all. Not very good. Well... We have chances to get back in the lead. Long throw from Villa to Delamond, who turns and passes it backwards for some strange reason. Howlett Mundle into Jones. Jones has the chance to cross and does to the far post. Thompson couldn't get over the ball. Time for a sub, I feel. We don't actually have any centre midfielders on the bench. Um, so I'm going to bring yeah, I'm going to bring Grant on for Delamond, and then I'm going to swap Grant with Thompson. So Thompson will now play in midfield. Sort those two over as well. Thompson will play in centre midfield and Grant will play down that right hand side. And the reason bringing Thompson in isn't such a bad idea 
he has got a very good long shot on him, if you remember from a few episodes during last season and a couple of episodes the season before. Um, so bringing him inside, he might be lurking on the edge of the box a bit more when crosses come in. So if the rebound comes to him, he's like a Huddleston kind of player and that he can hit it first time into the bottom of the net if he really wants to. Just got to wait for that sub to actually happen now. In the meantime, got a nice little triangle building up here with Marshall, Wilson and Delamon. Now Wilson flicks it over the top to Morgan. Good control, great finish. Adam Morgan puts us back in the lead, back in the driving seat. We haven't even done the tactical change yet that might help us further down the line. But for, it, for now, great ball from Wilson over the top. Look where Morgan is when he played that pass. He picked him out perfectly. Saw the run, saw the, the space. Put it on a dime for Morgan. Good first touch from the man and just finished it around the keeper. Now we've made the sub. Grant is on the pitch. Thompson has moved inside. Delamont, who was on a booking as well, which is why I decided to bring him off. He hadn't done much wrong in the match, just picked up that yellow card. So he is now back on the bench, having a nice little rest, ready for our next league game. Where hopefully we can push on and actually win the title. Right, Wilson on the ball. Into Marshall, who... I don't know where he was going with that because there was no way Jones was going to reach it. Speaking of Jones, that was a fantastic challenge to win the ball back. Now Grant on the pool. Thompson over the top towards Morgan. He didn't get a touch, but it comes out to Via. Morgan with the flick down to Grant. First shot blocked. Couldn't pick it up a second time. Wolford, who set up their goal, brought down by Grant. And that is a free kick to Shrewsbury. Got half an hour left in this game. 2-1 up. Stats-wise, we're still behind on possession. Oh yeah, I might have put our goalkeepers as free kick takers as well. Quintarka is actually our best penalty taker in the team. So, I don't want to make this game too unrealistic, but it increases our chances of scoring from a penalty. And I'm sure the game will factor in some kind of system where more players stay back and help defend on the counter-attack. So, King is our free kick taker. Uh, principally, and Quintarka is our penalty taker, principally. That was a poor corner from... Who was that from? Number 21. Who's 21? Oh, it's Wilson, I think. Yeah, not very good. King with a free kick. In towards Marshall. Good header from Marshall, actually. And a good free kick from King. He does have to get back now, though, because Ugwu on the counter. To Stead. King's back in his goal now, so that's good. Jones brings down Stead, no free kick. Couldn't get past the man though, so uh, the attack broke down. Jones picks up that loose ball. Through the, the uh, crowd there, tidily to Mantum, into Marshall, but he was offside. Shot wide anyway, but needs to hold his run a little bit more there. Plays it a bit more carefully. Uh, and actually, I'm going to bring off Marshall. I'm going to put on Bobo. And I'm also going to bring off, to swap Morgan and Wilson round, and I'm going to bring off Morgan, and I'm going to put on Francois. He's actually one of our top scorers this season. He scored 14 goals in 13 games, says Jean Francois. He's a fantastic player now. He's had his ups and downs with us, mainly downs. I'll be the first one to admit that I did doubt him at one point, and I was considering offloading him. Gave him a couple of chances in cup competitions this season, and a, the odd league game against lower league opposition sort of down towards the bottom of the table um, and he's proved me wrong he's a very very good player indeed so uh, I'm thrilled that he has proved me wrong because it gives me the opportunity to to welcome him back into the team and actually have a striker who's on fire in the team and even though he makes the odd sub appearance and I think he's only made nine starts for us this season um, I think it's nine starts and four sub appearances and he scored 14 goals. So that says a lot about the kind of player that he is. Uh, he's a poacher. He likes hitting rebounded shots and things like that. Which not got a problem with. Gets the goals on the board. And it always means that if there's a more creative player alongside him. They can be the ones who, who cause the rebounds to start with. With either a deflected cross or a shot of their own. Uh, and just as I'm saying that. Here he comes onto the pitch. Manton with the ball forward to Wilson. Thompson. Wilson again. Over the top to Grant. He did well to stay on side. And there's Francois. A bit like Wilson's goal in this game, actually. 
ball came to him. He's only been on the pitch two minutes, Jean-Francois, and he has found the back of the net. I think Grant could have pulled the trigger a bit earlier here, but same dealy as Wilson's goal. Tackled by the defender, good challenge, nothing wrong with the challenge. Just unfortunately, the ball rolled across the face of goal into the path of Francois, and keeper had come off his line to try and save a, a potential shot, which meant that Francois had an empty net to put the ball into. Not got a problem with that. Very well played. Right, Mantum on the ball to Thompson. Thompson's shot, deflected, corner. So we're entering the 85th minute. We have a corner. We are two goals to the good. Wilson lays it off to Mantum. Towards the back post. Francois again, just over. He finds himself in those areas, though. Does very, very well. I'm looking forward to seeing Francois play in the championship as well, actually. I think he's going to be a very, very good signing for any team. Um, and the way he's come out for us this season, it feels like a new signing. It feels like we've signed a 30-goal-a-season kind of striker. Uh, when all we've actually done is, is tapped into our B team and seen who's been performing well there. <clears throat> he's done well for the under-21s over the last couple of seasons, and he's done well for the under-18s before that. So... Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm thrilled that he's back in the team and performing well. And he could have just scored the goal that cements this, this game. Uh, right, Hus to Villa. I must point out, actually, v Hus, Villa, Howlett, Mundell and Jones. I don't know whether it's just the tactics or whatever, but they really did perform well in this game. All four of them. They didn't have many chances, Shrewsbury. And I don't know whether that's because they're a League 2 team and we're a League 1 team, or whether we actually defended well. What does matter is we have won the JPT. We missed out last season. We lost to Sheffield United in the final. This season, we've gone one better and we've secured it. Man of the match for this game is Wilson, of course. One goal and two assists, which, I mean, that's just fantastic. That is absolutely amazing. I am, again, Wilson. I wrote him off a couple of seasons ago and he's come out and proved me wrong as well. So yeah, guys, that is the JPT. Um, I think we have a home game next match, and I've got some news for you in that episode as well, but I will save that for the next episode because we are running over time now. So uh, until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.